Hi everyone, in this video we will see to add external reference to part, in assembly, with this following example where panels of car are slowly fade out. Let's start. Here, I have assembled a formula student race car, I will hide and show the panels, to visualize the part. We will create a reference plane, at some distance from right plane. We will make it in front of the nose of panels. Now, create a rectangle on that plane. The rectangle should cover minimum the front view of panel. Now, extrude the sketch, such that it covers the length of panel. Make sure that the merge select is not selected, so that we can get an independent body. Now, go to features, then combine. Select the common option. Selecting the panel solid part, and the last extruded part, from the solid tree. We have created a new body, which contains solid which is common to both panels, and last extrude. The resultant body will look exactly like body panel. We will edit appearance of the new body. Saving the part. Open a new assembly file. Insert the saved file of race car. Open a new part. Simply create a rectangle on right plane. And then extrude it. Save the part. Coming back to assembly, insert this new rectangular part. Dragging the part so that it is in front of panel. Now the tricky part starts. Expand the tree of car component. And edit the reference plane, which we had created for rectangular extrusion. Check that the no external reference is deactivated. And then instead of right plane as reference, select the surface of other part, which is an external component. Thus we have externally established a connection between two parts of assembly. Exit part editing. Now, as we move the part 1, the extrusion feature of race car part will get affected. And since we have used the combine feature, we will just see the part of panel from where the extrusion will start. We can check this by moving the part, and refreshing the assembly. Let's go to motion study now. Dragging time bar. Changing some settings. Increasing frames per second. And lastly defining motion for sliding part. Click on calculate. It may take a while. For each time frame, the slider will move slightly and assembly will get refreshed. At the end of calculation, we see that the panels are gone. Now, we will change visibility of sliding part. We will hide it. Let's check the motion animation.
we see the panels gradually fading out. Subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for upcoming fun videos, thank you.